Today we'll be talking about the dopamine pathway. Dopamine is released by a neurotransmitter. It then binds to the D1 receptor. The alpha G protein subunit detaches and then reattaches to adenylene cyclase, which activates it. CAMP is produced by this adenylene cyclase. CAMP induces activation of PKA, which phosphorylates a protein which then expresses CAV1, which results in excitability. PKA also activates DARP32, which inhibits PP1, which is protein phosphatase 1, preventing the excitation protein from being dephosphorylated. Dopamine is then removed from the receptor by way of a neurotransmitter transporter, allowing dopamine back into the original neuron. This in turn undoes the response created by dopamine binding. Soon, dopamine binds to a D2 receptor to elicit a depressive response. A G protein connected to the D2 receptor separates into alpha and beta gamma subunits. The alpha subunit inhibits adenylene cyclase, resulting in no excitable response due to a lack of protein phosphorylation. The beta gamma subunit goes into inhibit CAV1, resulting in a depressive response. In addition, a specific D2-like receptor will further, will further create a depressive response by calcifying calcineuron. This goes from G protein to the ER to CA2 plus in the vesicle, and then to the calcineuron, which in turn inhibits DARP32, allowing PP1 to then dephosphorylate any activated excitability proteins, resulting in zero excitable response. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed.